a renowned Nobel laureate warns us that the James Webb Telescope has just discovered something strange in the universe, and we may not even be ready for the changes that are coming. The latest discoveries pose serious problems for our science. It's getting crazier and crazier because, yet again, James Webb has discovered a completely new phenomenon that is turning our physics textbooks upside down. Astrophysicist and Nobel Prize winner Adam Rees has long suspected that the scientific community is heading for disaster. Researchers report piles of unsolved puzzles that are growing every day. Can we still get to grips with the situation? Or is our science at an end? Adam Rees is probably one of the few researchers who is keeping a cool head these days. Since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, nothing is as it used to be. The universe is probably much older than assumed. Galaxies have formed much faster and quite differently than all our predictions, and our cosmos may not be expanding from a single point. What happens now if dark matter is possibly still a mistake? And James Webb is already presenting the next picture of inexplicable phenomena in the cosmos. Adam Rees is one of the leading experts in the field of research into the expanding universe. His contribution to the discovery of the accelerating expansion of the universe revolutionized our view of the expansion of the cosmos and was one of the cornerstones of the Hubble excitement. Rees welcomes the telescope's latest discoveries because he knows from his own decades of dedicated work that our cosmology is flawed. He was involved in surveying the cosmos and using supernovae as standard candles for the first time. In this context, Standard candles are something like cosmic scales that scientists use to measure movements and distances in the universe. Using supernovae as a yardstick, astonishingly precise measurement results could be achieved. But one problem remained. Rees and his team found that the expansion of the universe was increasing regionally instead of decreasing. In the course of their work, Another phenomenon became apparent as Rees's measurement results differed significantly from those based on the redshift method. This should not really be the case. Today, we know the differences in the measurement results as the Hubble tension. Rees's work was so phenomenal that he was awarded a Nobel Prize in Physics in 2011, together with his colleagues Saul Perlmutter and Brian P. Schmidt. In fact, he received the award for the discovery of the accelerated expansion of the universe. Rees and Schmidt are members of the Hi-Z Supernova Search Team, which is researching techniques to refine the measures of distance in the universe. Perlmutter, on the other hand, came to the same conclusions at around the same time as part of the Supernova Cosmology Project. They observe type IA supernovae, very bright exploding stars that serve as reliable indicators of distances in the universe. These observations provided surprising evidence that the rate of expansion of the universe is increasing rather than decreasing due to the gravitational effects of matter in the universe, as previously thought. The isotropic universe, the biggest crisis in modern science, was slowly brewing, and now the bomb has exploded. Instead of answers, astronomers and cosmologists are constantly being served up new puzzles and shocks these days. Now the concept of an isotropic universe is also on the brink of collapse and with it, one of the fundamental pillars of our cosmology. Isotropy assumes that the universe looks the same in all directions, regardless of where you look at it from. This assumption is a fundamental part of the cosmological principle, which states that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic if we look at it on a large enough scale. For example, the cosmic microwave background radiation pattern looks uniform everywhere, and large clusters of galaxies are also distributed almost uniformly across space. At least, that's how it used to look, and scientists then turned these observations into basic mathematical rules to simplify scientific descriptions of the universe. But this may have been a stupid mistake. The observations of Adam Rees and other scientists researching accelerated expansion initially confirmed the isotropic model, at least in part, because the measurements of supernovae showed consistent results with regard to the rate of expansion. This means that there appears to be some kind of isotropy. However, the expansion is much faster than it should be according to old physical assumptions. The end of dark energy remains exciting in science. In order to understand the puzzle of the new cosmology, we need to take a closer look at dark energy. The exact nature of this energy is still unknown, but its existence and properties are crucial if we want to understand how and why the universe expands in an isotropic way. Dark energy is a hypothetical form of energy that could be present anywhere in the universe and very likely plays a key role in current theory about the expansion of the universe. 
It's thought to be the driving force behind the accelerated expansion of the universe by acting against gravity. It pushes the cosmos apart. In current cosmological theory, dark energy is responsible for about 68% of the total energy content of the universe. Here, you can already see a problem. Scientists blame almost 70% of the energy processes in the universe on an energy whose existence has never been proven. An important element supporting the existence and properties of dark energy up to now was the observation of type IA supernovae, as carried out by Adam Rees and colleagues. The accelerated expansion observed here could not be explained without the effect of a large repulsive force. Further evidence that this mysterious energy really exists was provided by the cosmic microwave background radiation and other large-scale structural studies. However, recent observations by the James Webb Space Telescope have now shaken the concept of dark energy. The JWST can observe the early universe in a level of detail that was previously unattainable. Even the first precise observations revealed structures and objects that are older and more developed than they should be according to the standard model of cosmology. These observations could indicate that the universe may have expanded even faster or originated at an earlier time than previously assumed. All these results indicate that we have not yet understood some crucial elements and forces in the cosmos, including dark matter and dark energy. It's very likely that we are now facing a complete revision of the standard cosmological model, but we are not ready for that. At the moment, we can't come up with new theories because we don't have enough tangible information about what's new. Will we find the answer in the world of quarks, so the revolution in our worldview will have to wait a little longer? Only when Webb provides us with more images and researchers make even more incredible discoveries will we be able to piece together a new picture. That may take time. In the meantime, researchers around the world are searching for answers that are already available. David Gross is another scientist who welcomes the crisis and sees it as an opportunity. Gross points out that the answers to the great mysteries of the universe are not hidden in the macrocosm but in the microcosm. The renowned theoretical physicist is an expert in the theory of strong interaction and string theory. He is also a Nobel Prize winner and received the award in 2004 for the discovery of asymptotic freedom in the theory of strong interaction. The discovery was fundamental to understanding the behavior of quarks, which are the basic building blocks of protons and neutrons. These particles are the main actors in the standard model of particle physics and are the basis of everything we can see and measure in space. Consequently, the basic structures and principles of the macrocosm must also have counterparts in the subatomic realms. The concepts that Gross helped to develop deal, among other things, with the event shortly after the Big Bang. He realized that there were no stars and no objects in the universe at that time. For hundreds of thousands of years, there was only an extremely hot primordial soup in which particles spitted freely through space without forming bonds. Before the Big Bang, there was presumably only a kind of quantum fluctuation in which all forms cancelled each other out in such a way that from a physical point of view, they amounted to zero. With the Big Bang, this quantum fluctuation fell apart, and particles packed with charges and forces shot into an otherwise empty space. These particles later became stars, galaxies, planets, and life forms like us humans. Is Gross right when he says that these particles are the answers to all the questions? Probably yes, but how do we study the behavior of particles that were in space 13.8 billion years ago? Among other things, researchers use the cosmic microwave background radiation. This is considered to be a fairly accurate reflection of the event shortly after the Big Bang and has probably not changed much since then. However, quantum physicists and classical physicists do not quite agree on how to interpret this imprint of the early days of the universe. At the moment, the situation in science is that quantum and particle physics cannot be reconciled with traditional cosmology. The findings from the world of formed matter do not fit with quantum physics, or rather, the binding link is missing. David Gross is convinced that this bridge can be found in previously unknown particles and forces. He was one of the researchers who worked hard to reach a consensus between the disciplines, even before the debate triggered by James Webb. As co-author of String Theory and in a coherent unification of quantum mechanics and general relativity, he was keen to close the gap between the two worlds and disciplines of science. Gross's work on asymptotic freedom describes how quarks behave at very high energies. This is fundamental to understanding the early universe shortly after the Big Bang, when energies were extremely high. 
his theories can clarify as yet unclear aspects of the expansion of the universe. However, there is some controversy among scientists, as the thesis of string theory is too far-fetched for many classical physicists. David Gross suspects that the answers to all unanswered questions lie in the quantum fluctuations within the microwave background. The CMB fills the entire universe and can be found in all directions around us. The Cosmic Background Explorer satellite, which was active from 1989 to 1993, was the first to notice tiny fluctuations in the temperature of the radiation. From 2001 to 2010, the Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe researched to find evidence of the Big Bang in these fluctuations, and most recently, the Planck satellite provided one of the most detailed maps of the CMB. However, there is still disagreement among researchers as to how this data should be interpreted. While some claim to have found the necessary evidence for the Big Bang in the CMB, others see the data as evidence for collisions with parallel universes and the existence of the multiverse. The search for understanding in cosmology is not just about observing the heavens. It's also a quest to unravel the fundamental fabric of reality itself. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to reveal unprecedented details about the early universe, scientists find themselves confronting more questions than answers. These revelations have sparked a profound reassessment of our most cherished theories and assumptions. One of the most pressing enigmas is the nature of dark energy. Proposed to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe, dark energy remains elusive. It challenges physicists because it suggests a fundamental force or substance that constitutes nearly 70% of the universe's energy content, yet its properties defy detection by conventional means. The JWST's observations have added a new layer of complexity by revealing structures in the early universe that appear older and more developed than expected under current models. This discrepancy raises doubts about whether dark energy operates as originally theorized or if entirely new forces are at play. Moreover, the concept of isotropy, which assumes uniformity in all directions on a cosmic scale, faces scrutiny. Traditionally, Isotropy has been a cornerstone of cosmological principles, supported by observations like the cosmic microwave background radiation's uniformity. However, recent findings hint at possible deviations from this uniformity, suggesting that the universe's early stages may have been more complex and varied than previously thought. If confirmed, this could necessitate a significant revision of our understanding of how the universe evolved from its inception. In the quest for answers, Scientists are turning to both macroscopic and microscopic realms. David Gross, a Nobel laureate renowned for his work in particle physics and string theory, advocates for exploring the microcosm to unlock the universe's macroscopic mysteries. His research on asymptotic freedom and the behavior of quarks at high energies provides insights into the early universe's conditions, where extreme energies prevailed immediately after the Big Bang. Gross's theories propose that understanding the fundamental particles and forces at play during these epochs could reconcile the discrepancies between quantum mechanics and classical cosmology. The Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, a relic of the Big Bang, serves as a critical window into the universe's infancy. Its faint, uniform glow offers clues about the universe's initial conditions and its subsequent evolution. The precision measurements obtained by satellites like the Planck mission have mapped the CMB's variations with unprecedented accuracy, shedding light on the seeds of structure that eventually led to the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. Yet, interpreting these variations remains a challenge, as they may hint at exotic phenomena such as cosmic inflation or interactions with parallel universes. Parallel universes, a speculative concept arising from theories like string theory and quantum mechanics, propose the existence of other universes beyond our observable realm. These universes may operate under different physical laws or dimensions, potentially explaining anomalies observed in our own universe. While controversial and difficult to verify experimentally, the idea of a multiverse has gained traction among physicists grappling with cosmic mysteries that defy conventional explanations. The role of observational astronomy in shaping our understanding cannot be overstated. Advances in telescope technology, from ground-based observatories to space telescopes like Hubble and Webb, continue to expand our cosmic horizons. Webb's ability to peer deeper into space and further back in time than ever before promises to uncover more cosmic puzzles, 
and possibly transformative insights into the nature of our universe's origins and evolution. Beyond the theoretical and observational frontiers, the search for answers extends into computational modeling and simulation. Supercomputers are indispensable tools for testing cosmological theories against vast datasets and exploring complex scenarios that simulate the evolution of galaxies, the dynamics of dark matter, and the interplay of cosmic forces on cosmic scales. These simulations complement observational data, offering a synthetic view of the universe that can be compared with real-world observations to validate or refine theoretical models. The interdisciplinary nature of modern cosmology underscores the need for collaboration across diverse fields of science. Astrophysicists, particle physicists, cosmologists, and theorists collaborate to integrate insights from diverse disciplines, bridging gaps between the microscopic world of particles and the macroscopic realm of galaxies. This collaborative effort is crucial for developing holistic theories that can explain the universe's structure and evolution across billions of years. As humanity's understanding of the cosmos deepens, so too does our awareness of the limits of current knowledge. The uncertainties and anomalies uncovered by the latest observations challenge scientists to rethink fundamental assumptions about the universe's composition, dynamics, and ultimate fate. While daunting, these challenges also represent opportunities for breakthroughs that could revolutionize our understanding of existence itself. In conclusion, the ongoing exploration of the cosmos through advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope is pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. Each new discovery brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of dark energy, the early universe, and the fundamental forces shaping our cosmic landscape. While uncertainties abound, the pursuit of answers continues unabated, driven by the collective curiosity and dedication of scientists worldwide. The next chapters in cosmology promise to be as exhilarating as they are enlightening, offering glimpses into realms both far beyond our reach and tantalizingly close to understanding.